Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we're going to be making a yummy, yummy soup, chicken chili relleno soup. Oh my goodness, this recipe I found one and of course I had to create my own. Um, we are going to make a delicious soup here with so many yummy things. So let's get started. And I'm going to start here with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Let's get that started and heat it up. And then I have uh, about one chopped onion and I'm going to throw that in. And that's going to start sauteing. And while that is sauteing, let's talk about how I did these poblanos. I have the poblano chilies all roasted and peeled, but I'll show you how a uh, way to do this is you turn on your burner. If you have a open flame gas stove, and you can just lay the poblano on there and let each side get charred till all the sides are charred black. And then you put it into a, I put them in a brown paper bag and let them steam for a few minutes and then pull them out. You can also just put them in a bowl, cover it and let them steam and then peel off the skins, peel out the stem and the seeds and boom, you're with this chopped roasted poblanos. Now I did these in the oven and I heated the broiler up and put them on a cookie sheet, put them under the, bo the boiler about five minutes per side. Just watch it until they get black and charred. And then uh, again, you put them in a bowl and cover it, put them in a brown bag, roll it up, and then you let them steam for a few minutes, same thing. Peel them, seed them, chop them, ready to go. But this is a fun way, if you only need to do a couple, you can do them on the open flame just like this. So there you go. So let me give these onions a stir here. Okay, I don't really want these to get brown. I just want them to soften a little bit. I have my pan very hot, so we can do this quick. Turn it down a little bit because it is very hot. Okay, those look good. So we are going to add some spices here. We are going to add two teaspoons of cumin. So we'll start with that. One, two, and then we're going to do two teaspoons of oregano. Now with dried spices, I like to put them in my hand and then crush them up a little bit to revitalize their spice. I'm going to go one teaspoon and then I'll do another one. So we're going to go whoop, two teaspoons of dried oregano and then uh, I'm going to do one teaspoon of paprika. I'll get this going in there. And we're going to give that a quick stir. Okay. Oh my gosh, smells good already. Yummy. Here we go. And then to that, now we have our onions all nice and spiced up. I'm going to add our chicken. Now I have three uh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts I'm going to throw in here. I'm going to go one, two, three in there. Let me get this off. Let me wash my hands real quick. There we go. We don't want any cross contamination here. <laughs> so we got that going on. And while those are just getting started a little bit on each side, I'm going to add a uh, little bit of garlic, maybe four cloves, five cloves or so. And let that get started. Oh my gosh, this is going to be yummy. Oh yeah. And let that go for just a minute. And then I'm going to flip over those chicken breasts, but we'll give them just a second. So, you know, everybody loves chicken tortilla soup, right? This is kind of like a little twist on that. It's a rainy day here today. I know it's freezing all over the country, so it's kind of soup weather. So we are just making soup. But I read a bunch of recipes and I picked my favorites out of all, uh, all of them. Oh, also in my poblanos here, I roasted a uh, jalapeno just for fun. So there is a roasted jalapeno it, uh, it, in there because you know I like it spicy. Okay, flip this over. Let 
Okay, these are quite large, these chicken breasts. Let me get them going in there. I just want them to start getting nice and warm there. Put my spoon rest over there. And then we're going to add our chicken stock. We've got chicken stock we're going to put in there. And then this is a can of diced tomatoes and a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies just for fun. But I don't like chunks of tomato in really anything, but especially in soup. So I put them in here and gave them a little whiz with the immersion blender so that there wouldn't be chunks of tomato in the soup. I just don't like that. So quick two seconds to give them a little whiz and we've got our two cans of diced tomato there ready to go and our chicken stock. So give, check these out. Oh my gosh, looks great. I wanna make sure that that garlic gets a little sauteed before I put the liquid in. Oh my gosh. And they are getting there. So let's take our stock. I will start with this one. And uh, here we go. So there's four cups. I'm going to add two more cans of chicken stock because if we're going to make things homemade, we're going to make enough for the freezer, right? And I'm going to make enough to take, uh, put them in individual in cans for lunches, individual cans, sorry, individual Tupperware. So I can put them in Tupperware and put them in the freezer and they're good to, to go for lunches. Oop, missed. Or, or dinners. I'm going to put in our tomatoes. Oh my gosh. And boom, our poblanos are going in. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Oh, hello. My, my poblano. Nobody noticed. I got that one. Roast in a way. Oh, it's actually good. Perfect. Roast in a way. That one on the open flame. <laughs> Forgot about him. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let this um, cook for about 20, 30 minutes until um, that chicken is done. And then when it's done, I'll just shred it. But we are going to let that cook for at least 20, 30 minutes or so. And then I'm going to add two cups of corn. This is just frozen corn and a can of pinto beans whole or just, yeah, whole pinto beans and throw those in. And then when we're, when it's all done, I'll just shred the chicken with two forks in there. So we'll have a nice shredded chicken, the poblanos, corn, pinto beans. And then we serve it. We will serve it, of course, with condiments because that's the yummiest thing about like tortilla soup, right? We can do chicken, uh, tortilla strips, cheese, sour cream, jalapeno, cilantro, lime, whatever you like on top of yours for a condiment. We, uh, can, you can serve all those things on top of this soup. It'll be delicious. So I'm going to put the lid on this and let it all come to a simmer. And then we will be back in a minute once we get the chicken all cooked. Okay. We are back. Our chicken is cooked. So we are going to shred the chicken here. So let me bring it back over here. You can see our deliciousness. What's going on in here. Oh my goodness. Look at this yumminess. Yeah. So in there we have our chicken. So let's find some. I just tested it with a thermometer and uh, made sure it was, you know, it might be easier if I do this outside of the pan. Let's see. Let's just do it like this. Let me move it a little, a little bit, change of plans here. I'm going to pull the chicken out and then I can see what I'm doing here and we will shred the chicken. Oh my gosh, these poblanos smell so good. Two. There's a third one. There he is. Okay, give this a shred. Shred, shred, shred. Oh, what am I going to do? Smile. Okay, I'm just shredding the chicken here. And then we'll get it back in our pot. So, get it all. Wah! Probably not the best way to do this, but it's the way I'm doing it right now. 
get the chicken shredded and get it back in. So, you know, it's always better to make soup and let it sit. You know, it, it's always better the next day. So get it shredded. These pieces will break up more as it's simmering away. But I will get it broken up. Shred. Get it back in. There we go. Oh my gosh, smells delicious. Get our chicken back in. the easiest way to shred chicken. The easiest way is to take the chicken and put it in your KitchenAid and just give it a whiz. If you're making like crock pot chicken for the week, then you can cook it in the crock pot and then pull it out, put it in the mixer for a second and boom, you have perfectly shredded chicken. But I'm only doing a couple here. So get it shredded up. Yeah. I'll do my last one here. Oh my gosh. Yum. Then we have dinner, we have lunch. It's a great thing for a dinner party because you can let everyone pick their own toppings. You can put some toppings out and let ev everyone serve themselves what they like. Again, um, sour cream, jalapenos, Crispy tortilla chips, strips, cilantro, cheese, all the yummy things. Oh my gosh, Sm looks and smells delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up, drop it all in. There we go, there's probably a more efficient way to do that, but that's the way I just did it. <laughs> so there we go, into the pot. There we go. Oh my gosh, yum. So to this, I'm gonna add our can of pinto beans, which I drained. So drained a can of pinto beans. And then you can use black beans if you like them. No problem. Then I have two cups of frozen corn. It's thawed out. I'm gonna throw the corn in and let that, put that back on the stove and let it simmer for just a few minutes. Let it cool down and I will put it in containers because I am gonna have this as a item for the week here. Dinner, lunch, soup, ready to go. And grate some cheese, top it with some yumminess and it is ready to go. So how about that? We have our chili relleno chicken soup and a big pot so yummy things for the week to eat some is going to end up in the freezer and some is going to end up on the table so thank you for watching another delicious meal great meal for a dinner party because you can make it ahead and then let everyone make their own and put their own toppings on so make a comment let me know if you make it i'd love to know because i love it when you guys comment and thank you for visiting at hostess coach